a little bit of extra today, I guess. Um, today, keeping the channel active fragrance-wise, not a full review, but I'm going to do the Dior Sauvage Elixir or whatever, okay? Literally just a first impression. Some people like first impressions. Let's give my first impression. So, let me just say, if you watch my channel, you know me. I'm not super big on Sauvage. I do think it's a very complimented fragrance though because I can tell you when I've been out, I have had people tell me, oh my God, you smell so good. You're wearing my favorite cologne. It must be Dior Sauvage, whatever, when I'm not even wearing it. So that should show you how popular it is, right? But, you know, not really, not really my kind of thing, okay? And I can tell you, I can't even fucking remember, dude. I cannot even fucking remember what the Sauvage Parfum there's a perfume version and an eau de perfume and the body spray. I can't even tell you what those smell like. I don't remember, but I do remember that I think the original though. The original smells better than the others. So my first impression of this though was I was like, oh, okay. This smells at least as good as the first one because I didn't really care about the other ones. And I think it smells infinitely more interesting. I mean, right when I smelled it, I'm like, oh, this doesn't smell anything like the others. It smell, doesn't smell like a flanker. It smells like its own thing. So it's more interesting, of course. And I also instantly was thinking of, and other people have said it as well, I'm like, wow, this smells quite a bit older. You know what I mean? Like, this is like the daddy version of this. Like, maybe you started, like, I think Sauvage might have came out like five years ago or something like that, right? So maybe you got Sauvage when you were 25, 30 years old now. Now you wear, you wear elixir or whatever. So it does smell older. And when I wore it, I kept thinking, I'm not against Vibe fragrances, okay? Uh, I will totally wear a Vibe fragrance, a daddy fragrance, whatever. And I'm like, it smells more interesting than the original. And it smells older, but does it smell sexy? And would I wear it? That's what I kept thinking of. And something else I kept thinking of when I wore this, you know, I've given that comparison before of John Varvatos fragrances, right? John Varvatos fragrances to me are kind of like that, kind of like the daddy kind of fragrance for like, uh, what's it called? What should I say? Like regular fragrances, not niche. Designer fragrances, right? Like if you can't handle John Varvatos fragrances, right? You're probably going to have a tougher time with some niche fragrances, right? And when I smell this, I think of stuff like John Barbados Vintage, the regular John Barbados. I think of a more kind of, you know, older kind of daddy kind of fragrance. You know what I mean? That's what I think of. And again, this is only my first impression. So I'm going to have to get maybe a decant of it and smell it. Like where, <laughs> where Barbados Vintage and a regular Barbados or, or something right next to me, right? But I was instantly thinking of something like, wow, this is like a John Varvatos fragrance or something like that. Performance way better. Performance performance is way better. And that is a, you know, a common, you know, thing that people hate on the Varvatos fragrances, fragrances because of the per poor performance. So this does perform better. But this is also, I think it's like $155 for 60 ml or something like that. So it basically is a niche fragrance at that point, right? So... Yeah, you know, it kind of also, I would say, again, this is not saying like the smell, not saying the smell per se, but, you know, when you think of a fragrance like, um, what is it, that Aqua Gio, and there's a black bottle one, right? The black bottle one, is it Profumo or whatever? And that's kind of like the daddy version of that. It's like darker, right? So the old, older version of that. And so from that perspective, a thing like this is the older version of that, I do get that from Elixir as well, right? So... That's instantly, this is just my first impression. That's just what I kept thinking of. I thought of like a well-performing John Barbados fragrance. I don't know if you like that. It doesn't, doesn't remind me of Sauvage at all. And so I kept thinking though, does this actually smell sexy to me? Because again, I'm not against vibe fragrances. You know what I mean? I'm not against the daddy kind of thing, whatever. I think Tuscan leather smells good. You know what I mean? Um, I'll wear Tom Ford tobacco me. Some people might say smells older, whatever it might be. So I'm not against these kind of fragrances, but I kept thinking, does it smells more interesting than the original? It smells at least as good to me, but it's a vibe fragrance. And I'm not sure if I think it is sexy enough that I would buy it offhand, unless a girl liked it. Which so I so I guess I guess that's kind of a, that's 
when you're paying $155, then I hope someone's going to like it, right? And, you know, I, I've said this before, I'm at that stage in my life, and, uh, you know, I've smelled so many, so many fucking fragrances, dude. It's like, I've said this before for compliments, there are so many fragrances that get compliments out there, dude. And it's like, you can generally find a fragrance that you will also like that will get you compliments. And that's what I kept thinking about this. I'm like, man, it smells more interesting, older, potentially sexy kind of vibe. But is it sexy enough for $155? Do I unbutton a button? Do I show the chest? Like, oh man, I don't know. I, I, I don't know, dude. I, I, I'm interested though. You know what? I, I guess the most interesting thing maybe to me about this fragrance is as a hobby, when you get into a hobby, you're curious if someone else that enjoys your hobby enjoys the fragrance, right? So considering how popular the original is, it is interesting to think about, I wonder how popular this fragrance is going to be, right? Is this going to be the ultimate daddy fragrance? If it's the ultimate daddy fragrance, maybe I would get a decant. Maybe I would get... I, mean, I don't know, but I guess offhand, yeah, first impression, it's okay. $155, though? I don't know. That's my first impression of Sauvage, Elixir, whatever. Or if you like the videos, like, sub, silly, comment. I need a good thumbnail. I should have done a thumbnail. Is that the thumbnail picture? Fuck it. I'm too old for this shit! The end.